What are the different types of mobile applications? We are going to discuss the native app, the web app, and the hybrid app. So what is a native app? Native apps are downloaded from the Apple or Play stores, and they are written in the native language, aka c -sharp, Java, Objective-C, or Swift. The software lives on the actual device, it has full access to the platform's APIs, has awesome performance, the source code only works in the target platform. What are the pros of a native app? Native apps offer silky smooth performance, the best user experience, an app icon is available on the device, they can receive push notifications, it runs inside the operating system, and can use the platform's APIs. For example, the camera, audio, network, storage, GPS, and anything else that the device is capable of. What are the cons of a native app? Developers need to each of their platform's languages. The source code only works on the target platform, aka Windows, iOS, slash Android. They'll need their own unique project code. It's slower the market due to multiple source codes. How does it work? Devs will write the source code and add resource files, such as images and audio. When they're ready to submit to the App Store, the Play Store does not need to compile and package their application. iOS Packages and IPA Android Package is an APK. Once it's compiled and packaged, it will be able to submit to the App Store or Google Play Store maybe Windows if you're into that kind of thing. Next up, we'll go over a web application. What is a web app? It's a website designed for mobile and sometimes tries to mimic the native design. It's written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Network connection is required for it to work. What are the pros? It's cross-platform. It's a single code based. It's fast production. And it has a lower development cost because the single code base. What are the cons of a web app? They'll have sluggish performance depending on the device, of course. It requires a lot of loading. Network connections are required. They're not available in the App Store's extremely limited API access. No application icon. They live solely in the browser. How does it work? It's a single source code made with a responsive web design, which includes HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Using Chrome or Safari, the mobile device will request a website from the server. The server will respond with a mobile optimized website, such as test the holoc.net. The major advantage here is if there's a bug, it will be fixable on the server side and can be deployed immediately. Next, the hybrid app. What is a native app as a native layer with embedded HTML? Basic access to the native APIs, it is available on the app stores, and the web portions of it can be updated server side. What are the pros? You have a single source code, access to all the platform APIs. It's less time to deploy what portions can be updated on the fly. It's available in the app stores and has an application icon on the device. What are the cons? May be dependent on middleware. Middleware may also be slow to update. They're more bug prone. Some bug fixes require the middleware updates themselves. Some bug fixes are outside of your control meaning you're completely dependent on middleware to fix them. They usually have somewhat slower performance and more issues from device fragmentation. Just to clarify what I mean by middleware, that means something similar to like the PhoneGap applications. How does it work? Hybrid apps are written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They have a single code base a middleware layer sits between the app and the platforms, 
The hybrid code uses the middleware APIs instead of the native application APIs. The middleware then translates their APIs into the native platform APIs. So what this means is you can write one set of source code and it should translate and run on iOS, run on Android, and run on Windows. Don't be fooled by this because hybrid apps are usually very buggy, slow, and provide for user experiences. They are cost effective. From my personal experience, using a hybrid app, there is sometimes slow to update. So if iOS 9 comes out or Android 6 comes out, they may take a while to the updates or register with the new APIs. And there's a lot of bugs in between until they work out all the kinks. Thanks for watching the video. Click on www.sybite.com for more information. Or reach us through this email, info at sybite.com.